Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Catherine, and today I'm gonna to be doing another wig install and I'm partnering with Dorsini Hair. All info will be in the description box in case you guys are interested in it. It did come pre-bleached and pre-plucked is what they say, but me being me, I just, I redid that anyway. I did bleach it again and I did pluck it a little bit more because I have a very specific hairline that I like on my wigs. Um, here I'm just doing the bald cap method. I do use two ball caps just for extra protection, but I'm using the Dola hair glue to glue down my ball cap. I don't like to use free spray for my ball caps because I feel like it doesn't stay that well. And using hair glue just makes sure that it's extra secure and that no lace glue gets in my edges. So I definitely prefer the ball cap method. You can choose either one. I have tried doing a wig before without the ball cap method. I didn't like it. The glue got all in my edges and it was really hard to get off, but it really depends on you. This is what the hairline looked like before I bleached and plucked it on my own. And this is what it looks like afterwards. It looks a lot more natural and I do like the slightly over plucked, over bleached look. So that's why the wig looks like that. Here I'm just putting the wig on. And here I'm taking the pins in the back and I'm tying them together to make it extra snug. Um, and it fit perfectly like this wig was very very easy to install I didn't really have any problems with it so most of the time wigs are usually too small for my head I don't know it's just like I have a large head and I also have a lot of hair so like I have to get a large cap size but sometimes it just is not accommodating but as you can see this hairline looks great and I'm just lifting the wig back applying a little bit of makeup and I'm using some alcohol to clean the surface first. And I'm using one layer of Dola hair glue. I'm using a pretty good layer. I would say it's kind of thin, kind of not. I'm spreading it out. I'm only using one layer of lace glue because I only keep my wigs on for about one to three days. I really don't keep my wigs on for too long because I switch my hair so often. But you can see I'm doing that here. I'm making a nice thin layer and I'm also waiting for it to dry clear. And then I'm just gonna be placing the hair onto my hairline, making sure that everything is aligned. I'm pushing the lace into my skin and I'm using a comb to really brush it in. Also, this hair was so, so soft. I loved the texture of this hair. It was very soft, very long, um, and also it wasn't too full. I do love me a full wig, but sometimes it's like too much hair and it just looks like a wig. Does that make sense? So I kind of do prefer a little bit like thinner, I guess, probably like 150 density instead of 250. Um, but I loved this wig. It was perfect. The perfect amount of density, the perfect amount of softness. And here I'm just cutting the ear tabs, making sure that everything fits properly so that my ears can be comfortable. And I'm just gonna put that wig band on and I probably only band for like 10 minutes or so. I really don't band for that long because once again, I don't keep my, my wigs in for very long. And I do know the hair looks oily. I over oiled this hair when straightening it. That was my problem when I was prepping the hair. I did apply some dry shampoo after this video and it made the hair super, super fluffy. So just wanna let you guys know because I didn't apply the dry shampoo in this video so you won't actually be able to see it. But if you guys do end up applying too much oil to your hair when straightening, all you gotta do is put some dry shampoo in there and it's gonna go back to normal. It looks perfect now. But I'm just hot combing and straightening my hair to make sure I get that super silky, flat look. Having a flat wig is one of the most important parts about a wig install because it makes it look so natural. Um, so a good braid down is very important and having good products you need a hot comb you need a straightener and you need hair wax to really get your hair super flat me personally i don't do a braid down because of how much i switch my hair i really would rather not have to do a braid down and then take my braid down down i personally just um put my hair in two braids and i wrap it around my head and now i'm taking the wig band off and the hairline looks amazing and i'm just cutting the lace in four different sections to make it easier to um to make it easier to cut 
and I just love how the hairline looks on this. You definitely do have to spend time on your wigs in order to really see that progress. Um, I'm, I wouldn't really consider myself a beginner at this point because I've done so many wigs at this point, but it really does take time and practice and technique because the prepping is super important. I didn't realize how important prep was until the first time I did a wig and it looked so blocky and like the hairline was just very like giving Kim K wasn't cute. Um, but yeah, just being careful, plucking that lace and doing it in zigzag motions. And as you can see, it already looks great, super flat. I did want to keep it like this, but I decided to add some edges to my hair. So I can't, sometimes I can't decide whether to do edges or no edges on my wigs. Sometimes I feel like it looks good without it. Sometimes I feel like it looks good with the edges. But today I decided to do some edges. Most of the time though, I do prefer a no edge look because I feel like it looks more natural and it also just looks... I don't know. I only really know how to do edges on my real hair. Edges on wigs are like the hardest thing about doing wigs for me personally. Like I hate doing edges on wigs. It just never comes out the way that I want it to. And like even on this wig, they didn't really come out the way that I wanted to, but I'm going to keep working on it. But yeah, just doing my edges with some got to be glue. I use the black bottle, the ultra glue gel. It works perfectly. My edges stay all day. And yeah, that's probably about it. Super, super easy install. I didn't even use any melting spray for this wig because it already was melted. Like it really didn't need it. Um, I don't do extra steps when I don't need to like the melting spray. If I do need to use melting spray and the lace is looking a little bit too dark or too ashy, I will use that melting spray, but not really necessary in this one. Um, I'm also using some concealer on the parting so it looks a little more natural. And that's pretty much it. This was a super, super easy and simple install. This probably only took me about like 20 minutes to do. So definitely very easy. But yeah, all info on this hair will be in the description down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe as usual. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.